Apparently, don't change the president, change the plane. A new political report revealing the president is making some changes to how he boards Air Force One. It says two advisors privately acknowledge an intentional shift to steer the 80-year-old president to the lower stairs more often to make his travel easier. Ah, Jimmy Fallon is the host of Fox Across America on hey, Fox hey. News Radio, Fox Nation, and he joins us now. Jimmy. He's taken the road less traveled using the lower stairs. Is he ever? Uh, although I do think we buried the lead here. What which is, is that I'm hosting Fox News Saturday night at 10 p.m. Oh, bravo! One of the reasons Biden's taking the low stairs is to get to the TV set on Air Force One a little bit quicker. Safely. But yes, if you tune in at 10. Yeah. All right, let me tell you why this is a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're clearly bumper bowling for this president now. Okay, and the problem with bumper bowling is you take your kids bumper bowling, you put up a bumper on the right and the left, <laughs> oh, yeah. so they can't get it in the gutter, and everybody leaves with a little more self-esteem. But everybody in the bowling alley can see the bumpers, okay? In this case, the world can see the bumpers. We've been watching an American president go up the stairs of Air Force One for as long as there's been aviation. They've always been the high stairs, okay? So again, this is back to a point, not about his age, but about his condition, mm -hmm. okay? They have set up the bumpers, and he is still throwing gutter balls. The middle class is building the middle class. The Queen of England's been resurrected somehow. This has been a very eventful year <laughs> yeah. of the Biden season, but it ain't a good year. Can we be realistic? Corn pop was the most lucid thing he has said over the course oh, of the he, last he five years. He peaked at Corn Pop. He, <laughs> he peaked at All Men Are Created, Go You Know The Thing. That was I the also, greatest hits album. I also think that it's interesting that two of his advisors told this to Politico and also said that he's going to be wearing sneakers more than dress shoes because, Again. you know, he's getting older, so he Re needs to be more sure-footed. Advisors are supposed to make the president look good, so they really did him dirty here. Really quickly, just so you know, okay, when your beautiful child is old enough to bowl, uh -huh. okay, if you do go bumper bowling, you're going to notice all the dads in the bowling alley. It's like 9 a.m. on a Saturday, once in a while sneaking a quickie from a flask <laughs> because bumper bowling's unbearable. How would you Imagine know that? Imagine four years of watching bumper bowling, yeah. but it's the president of the United States literally throwing the ball with two hands now. Speaking good. of unbearable, oh. the ladies of The View share their thoughts on Jason Aldean's new song, Try That in a Small Town. <laughs> he has to understand that the big cities are supporting the small towns. You just have to realize that when you make it about Black Lives Matter, people kind of say, well, are you, are you talking about black people? What are you talking about here? Don't tell me that? that he knew nothing I'm about not, what that imagery meant say he didn't and what he, uh, so I don't give him the benefit. But I'm of saying I don't along with him, more people. <laughs> Now, listen, we beg on The View. It is the highest streaming show in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> okay, you can't waterboard anymore. So they're like, you confess, we'll put on joy. But which of those three was the most ridiculous? Uh, well, the, the elitist comment about the big cities helping the small towns, in no way. That was the most elitist thing I've the ever heard in my life. The most elitist, ridiculous thing I've ever heard, number one. Number two, what is the left doing in the last two weeks if we've kept score? Yesterday, they came out and slammed what? people who want to end lawlessness in the streets. Okay, yeah. lawlessness, which affects all of us, but if you're going to talk about racism, it disproportionately affects black communities more than anybody. So him saying end the looting and rioting isn't like a gift to the white guy, mm -hmm. it's a gift to everybody, to yeah. be clear. Okay, what did they come out against the week before? Oh, you believe these people that want to stop child sex trafficking? What's up with this movie? I'm like, they're going to come out against puppies next. <laughs> like, it's really weird. I don't think they hear themselves. Yeah, and Jason Aldean's just laughing all the way to the Oh, bank, good for him. One now. Isn't that funny? Uh, we got to get to this because there is a marine biologist who's warning about how sharks might be addicted to cocaine mm. because of the le levels of drugs that are being dumped in the ocean. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Scientist Tom Hurd investigates if the apex predators of the Florida Keys are getting high on illegal drugs in cocaine sharks. We were looking for behaviors that would suggest, you know, previous encounters with cocaine bales, uh, behaviors that would suggest sharks that aren't acting normally. I love this. Should we be scared? Well, this does explain the increased presence of sharks near the White House. Uh, we got that out of the way. There it is. Uh, we shouldn't be scared because you want to know why? Cocaine is a party drug. So they're not going to wind up attacking us. They're going to wind up getting it on. This is going to end in a Pixar film called Grinding Nemo. Oh, it's it's no. going to be great. It's going to be great. Frank, like it. that one. I'm going to see your sharks at the White House, and I'm going to raise you. The, the soundbite at the end mentioned behaviors. Yeah. What kind of behaviors, Jimmy? I don't know. Lobbying, verisma, painting. <laughs> what kind of behaviors can we expect from these sharks? These sharks have laptops now. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> How funny, man. I Listen, I love the story, but there's clearly something bananas going on in the world. Just fly into the storm. Saturday 
Saturday night, 10 o'clock, Fox News Channel, Jimmy Fallon. Let's host. do it. First, there, there was Cocaine Bear. It was the movie. And now there's Cocaine Sharks. There's also Sharknado, the TV show. I feel like something's happening here, and it's and terrifying. If we've talked about this multiple times on our program. Jimmy, I don't know if you know this. Uh -huh. Carly is has a lot to say about sharks. I'm just never going to go in the ocean. Not a fan. <laughs> That's where the sharks live. I mean, so I, I can't because once I get in the speedo, they don't leave me alone. <laughs> Everybody, especially on yeah. cocaine. A lot of talking chases. about grinding Nemo. Jeez. There it is, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.